so this is how fast you can apply kvl to basically any circuit using this easiest trick to know this trick you first need to know some basic concepts like firstly in the given circuit you, you need to find out how many loops are there in the circuit so here we are seeing two closed loops we name them i1 and i2 you also can name the nodes if required a b c d e and f now when you have identified the loops you and you have given the clockwise direction so if you given clockwise direction to one first loop then you have you have you will have to give the clockwise direction to the other loops also now we here we have two loops now we have to write the matrix for matrix to uh, to write the matrix you need to know the basic most basic concept of the matrix that is the position of the elements in the matrix we know that this is a11 a12 a21 and a22 here we have to write the current i1 and i2 that we have to find and here will be the voltages through the loops first and second now for a11 for the value of a11 you need to add all the resistances in the loop i1 here the loop i1 is a to b b to e e to f and f to a now here we have 5 and 4 so 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 for a12 you have to take the common resistance between 1 and 2 between the loops 1 and 2 here is here the common resistance between loops 1 and 2 is 4 and because of the direction of both the currents are opposite you have to take minus 4 for a21 you all, again you have to take the uh, difference between second and first loop here it is again 4 and you have to take again minus 4 for a22 what you have you have to do you have to do the addition of resistances in loop second that is 4 plus 6 is equal to 10 here it is our i1 i2 now for voltages or emfs you have to see the direction of the current here it is going clockwise so it will go from negative to positive so we will take the voltage as 20 volt positive 20 volt now for current i2 for the voltage in the loop i2 you have to firstly check the direction of i2 that is going from left to right and this is positive to negative so we have to take the 10 volt as negative 10 volt so we write it as negative 10 so and that's it you just have to put them in your calculator now to access equations you have to take press mode number fifth equation and for this when you have two loops you will get a square matrix of order 2 and you will need the first equation and you put the values in that like 9 minus 4 and for C you will have to put the value of voltage 20 again here minus 4 10 and again for C you will take minus 10 and that's it you got the value of I1 that is 2.16 ampere and I2 is equal to minus 0 0.13 amperes now if you now if you wanted to find out the current through the common resistance 4 ohms so you can just do this current through 4 ohms is equal to i1 minus i2 you could also take i2 minus i1 now if you if, if we have taken i1 minus i2 we will take the direction of i1 that is going downwards the best trick is to take the take that value first which has greater value so i1 is greater so we took i1 first and the direction of i1 is downwards 
so we will take the direction of resultant current as downwards so 2.16 minus minus 0.13 is equal to 2.29 amperes and the direction of resultant current will be downwards so now we have this loop uh, we have this circuit and uh, we are seeing that there are three loops i1 i2 i3 as i have drawn er earlier now for as as for uh, circuit having two loops we had taken a square matrix of order 2 now for three loops we would take a square matrix of order 3 and here it is written as a11 a12 a13 21 2 2 2 and the values of currents i1 i2 i3 and the voltage is v1 v2 v3 now for a11 we would sum up all the resistances in the loop 1 that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and for a12 when the numbers are different 1 and 2 we would take the common resistance between the loops 1 and 2 that is 3 all the direction of the currents we have taken clockwise this is going downwards and this is going upwards both have uh, opposite direction so we would take the 3 ohm as minus 3 we have written it as minus 3 for a13 again we would take the common resistance between 1 and 3 the loops 1 and 3 there is no common resistance so we would write it as 0 again for 2 1 for a12 and a21 the common resistance is same minus 3 that means the loop the common resistance between 1 and 2 is 3 again for the uh, the common resistance between 2 and 1 is minus 3 for a22 we have to sum up all the resistances in the loop 2 that is 3 plus 4 plus 5 that is 12 for a23 we, we would take the common resistance in the loop uh, in between the loops 2 and 3 that is 5 and we would take it as minus 5 because it is common for a31 we would take 0 because there is no common loop between loop 1 and 3 for a32 we would take again minus 5 because it is the common resistance between loop 3 and 2 and for a33 your numbers are same uh, therefore we would take the addition of all the resistances in loop 3 that is 5 plus 6 11 ohms now for v1 we would take as the current is going this direction clockwise it is going positive to negative 20 volt is positive to negative to positive to negative so it will have a negative value and it is also going positive to negative it would also have a negative value so minus 15 minus 20 it is minus 35 for v2 it is going minus uh, negative to positive 10 10 volts and again negative to positive 5 volts so it would be my, uh, plus 10 plus 5 that is 15 and for v3 again it is going positive to negative 5 volt and it is again going positive to negative 5 volts so therefore minus 5 minus 5 minus 10 and you can write this in your calculator to solve firstly click mode then the fifth equation now for square matrix of order 3 you have to press 2 the use the second equation and fill up all the values in that for D you have to take voltage minus 35 again here minus 3 12 minus 5 15 0 minus 5 11 minus 10 and it will be equal to i1 is equal to minus 7 percent i2 is equal to and i3 is equal to so you have the values of all the currents in the given circuit now what would you do if you have given circuit like this you just have to firstly name all the nodes for making yourself understand here here also there are three loops i1 i2 and i3 you would understand i1 c x y f and c and i2 for i2 c f e d c 
and for i3 the loop will be uh, b c d e f g h a and re returning to b this will the loop this will be the loop i3 so now again we have three loops so we would write square matrix of order 3 now we can write it directly for a11 we know the, addition, uh, the sum of all the resistances in a11 that is 4 plus 4 plus 3 that is 7 a12 is the common resistance between 1 and 2 that is minus 3 a13 is the common resistance between 1 and third loop so it is 0 again a21 will be minus 3 a22 will be sum of all resistances in loop 2 that is 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 a23 would be common resistance between the loop uh, i2 and i3 that is 5 because i2 is going like this and i3 is going like this so the common resistance would be 5 5 ohms we would write it as minus 5 again the common resistance for a31 the common resistance between a and 31 is nothing so we would write is write as 0 a32 it would be again minus 5 and a33 sum of all resistances in loop 3 that is this resistance sorry i haven't named it yet let's assign it as 5 ohm so it would be 5 ohm plus 5 ohm that is 10 this would be i1 i2 i3 and for voltages again we take 100 volt positive to negative 90 volt negative to positive for loop 1 that means minus 100 plus 90 it would give us minus 10 for loop 2 90 volt is positive to negative and 80 volt is negative to positive therefore minus 90 plus 80 minus 10 again and for loop 3 we, we have our current going in this direction like 80 volt from positive to negative therefore we take it as minus 80 and that's all if you have given such typical examples you have to simplify the diagrams and to simplify the diagram firstly for your sake of simplicity give the nodes their names B, C and D so here it is jumper that means it is not joining this this wire so we can write it as we can draw it as this is our a this is our b this is our c and this is d 2 ohms 1 ohm 10 ohm 2 ohm and 5 ohm we have taken this 5 ohm and this is this 5 ohm wire is remaining and it is connected b is connected to d so we could directly draw it as this 5 ohm and it is connected to D without joining any other wire so our loops would be I1 I2 and I3 now you can solve this by our this method thanks for watching if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe